Jonathan Gruber is an economics professor at MIT, one of the architects of the Massachusetts health care law known as Romney Care, as well as an architect of the president's law, Obamacare. Jonathan, was this a typo saying that only if you had a state exchange could you get a subsidy and therefore be required to participate? Chris, it is unambiguous this is a typo. If you're a state and you don't set up an exchange, that means your citizens don't get their tax credits. Yeah, he calls it a speco, kind of like a typo. A number of the key implementation steps have to happen at the state level. States have to set up their insurance exchanges where they can sell health insurance. Every single person involved in the crafting this law, but just full disclaimer, I was involved in writing the legislation, has said that it's a typo, that they had no intention of excluding the federal states, and why would they? The law responsibility is on states to set up these exchanges like we did in Massachusetts and regulate them and run them. We're going to have 50 different exchanges. We'll see what works, we'll learn. Why would Congress set up the mandate and go through all that political battle to allow it to be destroyed. So the fourth step is states actually have to implement this law and build it successfully, and that will be rougher. It's just simply a typo, and it's really criminal that this has even made it as far it, as it, it has. Well, your governor doesn't set up an exchange. You're losing hundreds of millions of dollars of tax credits to be delivered to your citizens. So that's the other threat, is will states do what they need to do to set it up? Because of a typo in the law, which happened simply because Republican, uh, Republican obstinacy would not let the bill go to co conference. But, you know, once again, the politics can get ugly around this. That that typo would bring down the whole law is just a failure of democracy. I guess I'm enough of a believer in democracy to think that when the voters in states see that by not setting up an exchange, the politicians in their state are costing state residents hundreds and millions and billions of dollars, that they'll eventually throw the guys out. But I don't know that for sure. And that is really the ultimate threat. He said at the time that it was not intended that, that, that in fact, this was meant to be an incentive to states to sign up. They want to sort of squeeze the states to do it. Uh, he described uh, those remarks as a mistake. I hope that that's a blatant enough political reality that states will get their act together and realize there are billions of dollars at stake here in setting up these exchanges and that they'll do it. Uh, that those comments were a mistake and didn't represent his views. But it's literally insane. There is some bias involved here. That all individuals should get access to those tax credits. Anything that takes two sentences to explain in America Day will be shouted down by a one-sentence lie.